Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sally and today I've got an update on my Partners in Cream project which was created by Steph Lyons and Dallin and I'm so excited with the progress I made. It's my first update ever and I've got an empty. So we'll get to that in a minute but we'll go over the other projects products first. So and as I'm sure you're aware because lots and lots of people are doing it and are posting updates at this time of the month so basically you pick three to six products that are either liquid or cream because they go off quicker from your collection so you pick the products and you work on those specifically and move through them a bit quicker because the powder products in your collection last longer so the ones that I picked was the this benefit Ula Lift which is a tiny little bottle and uh, it did weigh 4.94 and it now weighs 4.81 and I used it nine times this month which means I've totally I've used it would you believe 48 times over the time and it still is there's a hole in the middle of the bottom bit where the wand sticks into it but I have to use a makeup brush with it I can't get it anything out with a wand so um so I'm nearly done with that I don't know probably a couple more months maybe I don't know we'll see I am using it regularly though. So then the next one I had was this Benefit Gimme Brow, which I hadn't used before. It was sat in my collection for years and I'd never used it. And this time I've now used it seven times and I've used 1.3 grams, 0.13 grams, because it was 7.7 .7 and it's now 7.63. No, that's not right. That means, oh, my mass is not good. That means I used... 0 0.07 of a gram that's not much is it but I did use it seven times and it's really nice and I enjoyed it and I will enjoy using it and finishing it up so I've no idea how long this will take me to use up absolutely no clue but I shall enjoy the process so it will probably be in here for quite a while so we'll enjoy that one then I had my elf hydrating primer which is looks like a big bottle and I did use it I used it six times this month and this is the one where I used over a gram I used 1.1 grams because it did weigh 56.39 and now it weighs 55.23 so it yeah it's really nice I I enjoy it, it but then I've got nothing to compare it against because I've never used the hydrating primer before in fact I don't think I've used a primer before but that's by the by so I don't have anything to compare it against. So for me, it performs really well and I'm enjoying it. But I'm sure there are other very good primers on the market that I've just not come across. So we will use this up and we will use the others in my collection that I seem to have acquired over the last year. And then we will move on to some others, I think. So, but I'm enjoying it while I'm using it. Right, the next one was a very exciting one it was a little tiny highlighter cream highlighter from AOA from Shop Miss A and I hit pan I've never hit pan in a highlighter before so I'm really chuffed I did wonder if I would because it's such a small product it's tiny compared with my other highlighters it's it's so tiny and very very light I mean it weighed um 11.6 and now it's 11.5 so I use 0.1 of a gram and I did use it six times but six times to hit pan and I did mention in my intro that if I used I hit pan really quickly that I think I'll keep it in rather than rolling it out having hit pan and try and finish it because after using hitting pan after six uses it seems to me that I'll probably finish it reasonably quickly it's not like I'm gonna to have to use it a hundred times to finish it maybe possibly um, but I think you know it, it, I could finish it in a reasonable amount of time so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep it in here and finish it and then try and that will be one less highlighter in my collection of many that I seem to have gathered as I'm now doing my 
inventory and taking pictures of them and there's rather, rather a lot and I keep seeing to find them in other palettes and, and face palettes and mixed palettes and when I think I've got them all I find a loose one somewhere else and then I have to take the picture again but that's a story for, for another day but yes very annoying anyway now I have got the next product now this was the Kaleidos the, the tone activator for your for eyeshadow that burst on its way over to me so I had to transfer transfer it to another jar which I've done and I put it in this little glass jar which is fine and I've used it five times and I like the product but I'm struggling with it because it's really sort of a peachy orange color and at the moment for me it doesn't work the color is wrong and it looks I don't know I'm struggling with it I'm going to keep going with it because I, I did think I might roll it out and then I realized that they've now changed this product project and we can have a refresh at the quarter mark so I think that's in either the end of March or the beginning of March uh, it must be the end of March so I think at that point I'll roll this out and roll something else in and then maybe bring it back in the summer when I've got more of a tan and see if that then it works a bit better for me because in with my winter colour it's not working and I'm struggling a bit but I'll continue to use it occasionally but I don't think I've got five uses on it at the moment and I think I'll be lucky if I get to 10 by the time of the refresh to be honest and then we get to the last product now it was this lipstick that I must have had and I was thinking about it over the month and I think I must have had it for in excess of 10 years in excess I think it must have been I know I had it in 2011 and it must have been before that prior to that so you've got to be talking 10 plus years and I had the tiniest little nub of a lipstick left and I don't say I had it with that tiny little bit there for the whole 10 years but at least for the last two or three years it's been like that and now I have used it it has gone I used it up and I think it was about sort of seven or eight I can't remember how many times I've only written finished in the in my notes but yes it's all gone and I am so chuffed and I don't think I would have finished this had I not put it in the project I think it would have sat in my collection for another however many years until it went bad. I honestly do not think I would have finished it had it not been for this project. So I am really chuffed and pleased. But now I can roll something else in. So what I've decided to do is that I have found that I really don't like lip gloss. I'm a lipstick person, not a gloss person. I don't like the feel of it. So now that could be probably or possibly because all my lip glosses are old and the formulas may well have changed in more modern more new lip gloss so what I need to do is use up what I've got and buy some new ones now I have got one or two newer versions but I want to use up the older ones as well so I've got this one from Elizabeth Arden that's in the shade rose gold let's give it a swatch see if I can manage to do this so you can actually see it which is a really sort of pretty pinky nudey colour which is that sort of colour and I think I'm going to set a usage goal on it um, I'm going to say 15 uses because I have no idea having never used up a lip gloss I have no idea how long it would take me to use it I, I can't even guess how long so I'm going to say 15 uses and if I see lots of windowing in it like people say when you know you see their updates and then I get an idea that I'm nearly there then I'll carry on and use it if it still looks the same as it does now and I'm nowhere near then I might well roll it out and roll something else in I think because I'm so new at this I think I need to give myself that leeway that I can do it a bit like I did with the highlighter that if it took me three months to hit pan then it would be better to roll something else in then but as it only took me six uses then it's worth persevering with it so I think 15 uses with this is a good goal and at least I will have shown it some 
some love and some use and then I can move on to something else if I haven't made any seeable you know progress that I can see visually on the outside I can move on if that makes sense so that's what I'm going to do currently it weighs 15.54 grams I will take some pictures and a close-up of the swatch so you can see what the color is and put that at the end of the video and I hope to catch up with you at the end of next month thanks very much for watching and see you soon bye bye